Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike, and this time we're taking a look at the Action Force Steel Brigade action figure by Valiverse. Now, if you haven't already, please follow, like, and subscribe to my social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get a notification of when I post new content. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you all that this is the most exciting and important toy review that I will ever be a part of. And that is because I played a very small role in serving as a technical consultant to Valiverse on the Action Force line. A lot of what you read in the bios and the character information as well as the military terminology and things in the comics is stuff that I contributed to assist Mr. Bobby Valla on the Action Force line. Steel Brigade is my favorite character within the comics and, and the action figures. I really love the design, but I also love these guys for who and what they are. So if you're watching this product review and you don't know anything about Steel Brigade, Steel Brigade is the QRF or Quick Reaction Force within the Action Force Special Missions Unit. They are a support squadron within Action Force and they consist of 80 trained shooters who support the primary assault element on different operations. It doesn't matter if there's one operator that's deployed or a hundred, the Steel Brigade will be there as a ready reserve element ready to intervene should they be compromised on an operation. Essentially what a quick reaction force does is they remain on standby at a forward operating base. And if the primary assault element comes into heavy contact, if they're compromised on an operation, and they need assistance quickly. The QRF would be flown into the objective and dropped off where they would form up with the primary assault element. They would neutralize any threat, and then they would extract the primary assault element. A lot of the information that I contributed is based off of the Might Force, which was a QRF in the U.S. Army Special Operations during the Vietnam conflict. They were part of Max SOG and conducted support operations across all four branches of service with their special operations units, Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. They worked hand-in-hand -hand with those special operations units and supported them throughout the country. I also used information from the Global War on Terror, where the U.S. Army Rangers often acted as a QRF for other special operations units operating in Iraq and Afghanistan, as well as information from current real-world special missions units. Now, the Steel Brigade shooters go through their own selection process, and once they complete selection, they go through an operator training course where they essentially learn how to conduct surgical shooting. They are taught how to shoot, and from there, they move to being taught close quarters battle, how to clear a room, one, two, three, and four men at a time, how to breach doors and things of that nature, how to use demolitions. They are trained in hostage rescue. They're also trained in other tactics such as defensive and offensive driving, direct action missions against HVTs, high value targets, and special reconnaissance. So that's just a little brief information on the Steel Brigade soldier. Now you can see that all of the Action Force figures come packaged in these really nice window display boxes. On the side panel, you see the Action Force logo and emblem. On this side, you see some really cool artwork there, the Steel Brigade soldier and the Action Force logo at the bottom. And then on the back, you've got your obligatory product shots and then your bio, Steel Brigade, code name various, file name classified, primary MOS of Special Forces, secondary skills, Pathfinder, Sniper, Military Free Fall, Jump Master, and Air Assault. Now in front of each of these, you see a alphanumeric code, 5Q for Pathfinder as an example. That is what we refer to in the Army as an ASI, Additional Skill Identifier. That identifies additional skills that you learn through different schools and training courses that you might progress through based on your MOS in the military. It says the Steel Brigade is the code name for the support squadron within Action Force and is comprised of 80 shooters trained as the unit's own QRF or Quick Reaction Force. Hailing back to the days in Vietnam of the Mike Force, the Steel Brigade is the only unit of its kind capable of providing an armed support element to the primary assault force during a mission. Each shooter is highly trained in small arms and small team tactics. 
Like the members of Action Force, the Steel Brigade shooters must also pass their own selection course as well as mission-specific training in close quarters battle and hostage rescue. They are experts at airborne and air assault operations with many of their members being veterans of both the 82nd and 101st Airborne Division. No matter the mission, when Action Force goes wheels up, the men and women of the Steel Brigade stand ready to drop on target, defend the force, and destroy their enemies at all costs. All right, let's see what it's all about. All right, so let's take him out of the box and see what we've got. Put that over to the side. First and foremost, you get a Steel Brigade patch. Check that out. Look at the quality of this. That is awesome. I really like this. You also get your own Steel Brigade official unit dossier. Let me see if I can back this up so you guys can see that. And you can go on the Valiverse website and digitally fill one of these out and download it and print it as a PDF so that you don't have to mess this one up. Here's the figure in the tray. It's got a plastic cover and then a plastic film cover. Now, how nice is that? You're not gonna see that with a classified series, are you? Check this out. Look how nice this is. I mean, seriously. So with this action figure, you get three extra interchangeable hands. You've got the Silent Co. Maximum 9 integrally suppressed sidearm up in the upper left-hand corner. Upper right, you've got a fixed blade combat knife. And then you've got the M4 with a short barrel M203 grenade launcher. Really, really awesome. On the action figure, you see he has the Steel Brigade helmet that is exclusive to them. You also have an assault vest with body armor. He's got extra mags and two mag pouches there. His mag pouch here, his IFAC pouch here, pistol mag pouches here, fixed blade dagger here. Over here, he's got a pair of flex cuffs. Here's the holster for the sidearm, an accessory pouch on his left thigh. Now look how easy that action figure just came out of this packaging. You're not going to see that anywhere else. That is unreal. No rattling, no popping, no accessories flying all over the place. It just came right out. So I'm going to stand him here. While I remove all of the accessories and the display base. There's the other interchangeable hands. I wasn't aware of that. So the first thing we want to do with this action figure, Bobby recommends that you either use a hair dryer on the lowest setting for around 20 to 30 seconds to heat the joints so that they loosen up, that some of these are stiff, or that you soak it in really warm tap water for 20 to 30 seconds. I'm gonna use a hair dryer off to the side for just a moment. Okay, so I've heated the joints on the action figure and loosened them up, and as you can see, this is a really awesome looking dude all the way around. And I will bring him up close so you guys can see the head sculpt. Really cool helmet, I love that design. You can see the body armor. We got the Steel Brigade logo up here. And you can see the spare mags for his rifle. They are turned the wrong way. We want to turn them in this direction because we want the bullets to the rear so that when we pull a spare mag up to reload our rifle, the rounds are facing in the right direction. Let's see if I can get this one out. I'll put the other one back in. There we go. Now we're talking. Fixed blade combat knife, flex cuffs, 
accessory pouch. Sheath for the fixed blade combat knife, which is right here. That's really cool because it's got a lot of detail in it. The rivets, you can see the pommel on the end. It's got serrated edges on the top, a blood groove. Really, really nice. We'll go ahead and insert that. I like the back of the body armor because it looks weathered. And on this belt, you see this loop on the back. That's so that you can attach a snap link and a retention line, what we call monkey tail. And that snaps into a D-ring and a deck plate of a helicopter, like a little bird or black hawk. So that if you're riding on a pod on the outside on a little bird or you're riding in the door of a black hawk, you're going to stay in place anyway. You're not going to fall out because of the centrifugal force from the uh, rotor blades. But just in case, you know, something happens, you won't fall out of the bird. And if you do, this will catch you. There's the holster for the Silent Co. Maximum 9 sidearm. See that tactical elbow pads. Shooting gloves. They're hard knuckle. I really like that. That's really awesome. Your IFAC. Pistol mag pouches. Another rifle mag pouch. Integral knee pads on tactical pants. And really cool boots. I like these. Really like the way he looks. Forward and lateral movement there at the shoulder. And you can see the butterfly joint as well. Bicep rotation. Double jointed elbow. Wrist swivel. And there's wrist pivot. And I might have to heat these a little bit more. His torso is on a ball joint as well as his abdomen. But it's really difficult to see that because of the vest. That's going to inhibit that movement just a little bit. Forward and lateral movement at the thigh. Thigh rotation. Double jointed knees. You guys can see that. Lower leg rotation. His foot will pivot as well as rotate. Really cool. Here, of course, is the display stand. It's got this groove cut in it where you can display the file card. It's got four pegs on it. And I like the fact that Bobby designed this to look like an aluminum deck plating. That looks cool. Your Silent Co. 9mm integrally suppressed pistol. Really, really bad. I like this. And of course, the tried and true M4 with iron sights and your short barrel M203 grenade launcher. And the magazine, of course. Is removable. Really cool. As far as interchangeable hands... that one for his right hand so let's, when you pull these off pull them straight out just like that so that you don't break the stem and then when you push it in it's going to go in really simple pops into place this side we'll go ahead and pull this one out one we're gonna go ahead and kind of open his hand up a little bit gonna put that one into place Thank you. 
And we're going to set him on his display base. Guys, there you have the Action Force Steel Brigade action figure. If you don't have this guy in your collection, you need to go to Valiverse.com right now. Pick this guy up. I know they're on back order because they're sold out. They will be back in stock. Pick up the comic books, follow the Action Force team on their adventures, and become part of the action.